Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck or drowning in bills or debt? You're not alone. I've been there and I'm here to help. I was broken in debt after starting my business in 2019, so I tried hundreds of hacks to live frugally and get myself back on track. And here are the 24 hacks that have helped me the most in daily life, bills, shopping, food, and more. I'm now out of debt, have savings, and can finally breathe easy again. And I know these tips will help you too. Welcome back everyone, I'm Carrie. These first four hacks are super small things that you can change in your day-to-day -day life, but make a big difference. Did you know that most dish soap and laundry detergent companies recommend that you use more than what is necessary? Well, if you think about it, it makes sense because they want you to run out faster so that you can buy more. So hack number one is to always use less than what they recommend on the bottle. I always use at least 10% less detergent than recommended and my clothes and dishes are still very clean. And since I started doing this, I buy detergent every four months instead of every three and using less also helps your appliances run more efficiently, which lowers your water bill. So now you're actually saving in two ways. Number two, you can also cut down on how often you need to wash your dishes by using one dedicated cup or bottle throughout the day and keeping it with you. So I work from home and this is vital. And I actually even bring my water bottle when I go grab lunch so that I save money and I save on waste. And speaking of water bottles, number three is to switch to as many reusable products as possible. It can cost more upfront, but it's saved me hundreds and hundreds of dollars over the years. For example, instead of paper towels, I use reusable towels like this. And instead of toilet paper, I use a bidet. And there's even reusable feminine hygiene products like menstrual cups. Bonus tip, you can earn an average of 8% cash back on everyday purchases at grocery stores, restaurants, and on gas fuel ups by using the free Upside app. More on this later. So what's better than saving money? Making more money. Check out this video to learn how. Number five, if possible, switch your light bulbs to LEDs, which use up to 90% less energy and last a minimum of 20 years. That's 30 times longer than the traditional incandescent lights and five times longer than fluorescent bulbs. Plus the light is brighter. And this may seem obvious, but turn off your lights, especially when you're not using them, even if they're LED. It'll save you money and save the planet, come on. Hack number six is to unplug your cords when you're not using them to save electricity. I do this when I leave the house for an extended period of time, especially like large items, obviously not the fridge. Number seven is to switch to a smart thermostat system like Nest because it learns your heating and cooling habits and it actually adjusts the temperature automatically so you're energy efficient. Number eight, when it's time to replace an old appliance, always switch to energy efficient appliances. Efficient fridges, dishwashers, and washing machines will save you thousands on your energy bill over time. You can also improve energy efficiency by sealing the air leaks in your windows and your doors and weather stripping and caulking. It keeps the AC and heat from escaping and you having to pay for more energy to do it. Number nine, this one is very important. Make sure your hot water heater is no higher than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the ideal temperature for most homes and it will save you money from wasting energy. Number 10, search your state's energy efficiency programs on Google because a lot of states actually offer savings, rebates, and benefits for taking energy efficiency measures like buying AG appliances. And here's another bonus tip. I currently subscribe to Community Solar Energy, which actually saves me an average of 10% each month on my electric bill on top of everything else. I've linked a video in the description with more info on this. And speaking of subscribing, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet for more money and life tips. You'll thank yourself later. And if you're like me, your biggest problem spending category is probably on fun, but unnecessary shopping. For number 11, I highly recommend using and combining cashback apps like Fetch, Dosh, Ibotta, and of course, Upside, where you get real cash back for everyday purchases like gas, restaurants, and groceries, and more. If you haven't yet, download the free Upside app with the code YouTube when you sign up and you'll get an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first gas fuel up. If you want to learn more about cashback apps, check out this video. Okay, hack number 12 is to always wait for sales because almost all stores like online or even in person have sales throughout the year. I rarely, rarely buy things full price unless it's food, which I will cover in a bit. So if there's something that you've been eyeballing, sign up for the marketing email list and wait for the company to notify you when there's a discount. Okay, on to number 13, you can sell things that you don't use and either to save cash or to replace things that you actually need. When I was broke, I sold over $2,000 worth of random junk that I had around my house on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and I even brought some clothes to consignment shops. You know, and these consignment shops are great because they make buying new things feel guilt-free. It honestly just takes a couple hours a month just to get rid of your junk and make money. Okay, number 14. If you have a really big purchase that you need money for pronto, pick up a side hustle and make money so it doesn't leave a big hole in your bank account. Like when I needed to buy a 
new mattress while I was broke, I made sure to get a side hustle so I could cover the entire cost. An easy way to do this is by signing up for a rideshare or a delivery service and getting the new driver bonuses. I cover the rideshare apps and the best intro offers in this video, so make sure to check it out. It's linked in the description. Okay, number 15. I also love secondhand shopping on sites like ThreadUp, Poshmark, Macari, and Depop. I mean, you do need new clothes sometimes. And so go there and you'll get items that are in great shape for like a fraction of the price. And did you know that you can also rent clothes? Rent the Runway and Newly are two of my favorite services because they have fixed prices for each bag of clothing that you want to rent. If I have to go to a wedding, I never buy a new dress that you just wear one time. I just rent it. And if you want to keep any of the clothes that you like after, they even offer a discounted purchase price. And renting applies to more than just clothes. Hack number 16, if you need something like tools or party supplies for a one-time thing, but you don't want to spend a bunch of money just to buy all this new stuff, check out online buy nothing or free cycle groups. People are always offering and lending super useful free items. And if you don't see what you need, you can make a post asking to borrow. Nowadays, buying groceries and eating out at restaurants is way more expensive than before. You probably know this. Like fast food is at least $10 now, which is crazy. So number 17 is when I need to eat out, I first look it up on the free upside app because I can get an average of six to 20% of real cash back at restaurants or for takeout. And upside sometimes offers special promos to where you can get up to 45% cash back on restaurants. So when I need to eat out, I go in the upside app and always pick the ones with the highest cash back if I'm not like trying to eat something in particular. I just published a video with all my restaurant hacks, so make sure to watch it after this one. All right, number 18. It might seem tedious at first, but ever since I started meal planning, I have saved hundreds of dollars each month from not impulsively eating out when I don't have to or buying random things at the grocery store. For tip number 19, did you know that bulk purchases save people an average of 25% per year on groceries? Because you're getting a major discount for buying a lot at once. But don't overdo it because a lot of people actually waste a lot of money at Costco by buying a ton of things that they don't ever end up using all of. To do this right, buy what you actually need in bulk and then you can freeze leftovers. So in the fall and winter, I make a giant batch of soup every single month and I freeze what I don't eat. All right, number 20, I buy grocery stores, generic products instead of brand names on actually a lot of things. And I go into exactly which generics I always buy in this video on how to save on groceries. 21, of course, you can always look up in-store coupons or you can look them up online before you go to the store, which is actually what I do. So I don't randomly buy a lot of things that I don't need. And if you wanna be even smarter, you can choose which grocery store you wanna go to through the Upside app where I get an average of eight to 10% cash back on my groceries. And you can even find offers that are up to 30% cash back. I have a future video coming that I'm working on right now where I actually document how much I make with Upside every single month. So if you don't wanna miss it, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, here's another bonus. When you're paying, make sure to use a cash back credit card because they can earn you an extra one to 6% cash back on your purchases. I cover the best cash back credit cards in this video. All right, these last hacks are things that are super easy to overlook because we usually think of major monthly bills as being non-negotiable. You can actually lower your phone bills and internet bills just by asking. <laughs> these companies are often willing to negotiate lower prices, especially for long-term customers. So if you've been a Verizon customer, for like 10 years, you can call them and say, hey, I'm considering switching to AT&T or T-Mobile because your prices are too high. Can you match this? Or what discounts can you give me? Try it out and let me know. I've done it and it works. Hack 23, this is also true for insurance rates. So just call and say what you're willing to pay and then see what happens. And when you're shopping around for a car, home, renters, or a health insurance policy, find out if you're eligible for discounts. I like to use NerdWallet's insurance comparison tool because they ask you comprehensive questions to find you the best quote. So if you need to switch insurance, now's a good time too. And last but not least, money hack number 24. Cancel the subscriptions you aren't using. Do an audit of your bank account, your credit cards, PayPal, and iCloud account to see if you're being charged for things that you didn't even realize you were subscribed to. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't downloaded the free Upside app yet, use the code YouTube to earn an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first gas fuel up. And that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.